Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be the unboxing of the products that were sent to me by my subscriber and I have my good friend Jamie with me. You guys have heard me talk about Jamie so many times over the last couple years. This is her. She agreed to come on here and do this unboxing with me so that we could kill two birds with one stone. I could show you guys the contents of this box and show Jamie the contents as well because I am hoping that she's going to be interested in taking some of this for herself. Ironically, what I did not see coming was that she's also currently <laughs> decluttering her makeup <laughs> and everything else in her life. She is going through a major purge right now and I had no idea so she has an entire bag of stuff that she's trying to get rid of too and guess who usually gets that stuff <laughs> guess who has two thumbs and usually <laughs> this guy <laughs> So anyways, this is Jamie. Hi. <laughs> so Jamie and I have known each other now for 23 20, yeah. years. Uh -huh. I think we've known each other for 23 years. We met when I was... Well, we graduated in 99. But we knew each other for before, two years already, right? Before that, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's 23 years. Yeah. So we probably met like a couple, like a couple months shy of 23 years because we probably met in the late summer or beginning of fall of 23 years ago. And we went to college together. That's where we met in college. We we're both occupational therapists and we both work for the same school district. And we live like four blocks away from each other. <laughs> and so at times we can be very close. Other times our lives get very busy and we don't see each other nearly as much as I wish we could. Right. But um, you've, you, 23 years ago when I met you, you kind of became the big sister that I always wished I had. And never did. So I think of you as my big <laughs> sister. And I, I know it's not just me. I know you have like 50 little sisters out there <laughs> who feel that way. And I think that's amazing that you could fill that role for so many people who don't have sisters. Because you have a whole bunch of sisters. And yet you could be a big sister to so many other people. So I'm really grateful for our friendship. And I love you so much. I love you. You're very generous. And um, you always show me the meaning of giving because I am horrible at giving. I like to hold on to everything. I have some major hoarding tendencies. But um, you always show me the meaning of giving. And so when I received this box, I realized that it was one of my best opportunities to give back to you because you always give to me. And so I'm hoping that you'll find some gems in this box while we go through it. And I'm hoping you guys will find this interesting because many of you asked for this video. So here it is. All right. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, I brought these over. I don't know why, but I wanted to show you guys some of the gifts that my donor, should I call her my donor? That's weird. No, not my donor. My benefactor? No, nope, that's weird too my anonymous subscriber gave to me for the kids. So she gave me these games for Hazel. There's a puzzle, a Disney princess puzzle, and some memory matching games, which is super adorable. And then for Ron, she gave me these two building sets. One is for a bulldozer and one is for an airplane, so. Thank you so much for those. The kids cannot wait to play with them. I told them they had to wait until I filmed this video. <laughs> so now I could bring them these uh, toys to play with. Um, Hazel doesn't even know about those. I can't tell Hazel. Once Hazel sees something, <laughs> she wants to tear it open immediately. So let's get into this box. You have permission to show interest in anything. There's okay. no rules. I don't want you to hold back. Okay. If you like it and you want it, grab it. Say something. <laughs> Speak up. Okay. okay. All right. Let's start with this. Right here. Okay, so first of all, mm. we have a Clinique. I'm gonna have to get bifocals, this sucks. It looks like either a lip gloss or a liquid lipstick. Lip gloss. This is a lip gloss in Spritz Pop. Very nice. A very pretty mauve color, I kinda like mm -hmm. this. So, there's the shade right there. It looks like a pretty mauve shade. It's a Clinique, it looks like it might have been a gift with purchase, I'm not sure, I don't know. Remember when we used to shop Clinique? Yes, I love Clinique. Are you the one yes, who introduced um, me to yes. the magic of Clinique? Yes, yes. So I did not know about this, but before I met Jamie, I was an innocent child, 
and Jamie would drag me to the mall with her. She hated shopping. I hated shopping. Hated it. <laughs> I hated shopping. What did you turn me into? I don't know. Um, yeah, so we would go to the mall, and you would take me to what was Marshall Fields at the time. No longer there anymore. And yeah. we would go to the Clinique counter, and we would check to see what their gift with purchase was. And usually you had to spend... 25? 20, I think it was 25, yeah, on gift for purchase. If you spent $25, you could usually get like $80 or something of free products. Yes. And we would. And it's usually full. We would. Like, full yeah, full si a lot of full size oh, stuff. And so we would rack up all the gift with purchases and we trolled Marshall Fields pretty regularly for <laughs> every brand. We would swatch MAC <laughs> eyeshadows and lipsticks. It was fun. All right, this is from Sydney Grace. It looks like I think this is a liquid eyeshadow. This is really cool. I've been hearing a lot of good things about these products on the YouTube. Let's watch it. Is this a liquid eyeshadow? A cream eyeshadow? Made in the USA. It just says, I think the shade is called a new. Oh, yeah. That's, oh. Oh, it's liquidy. Oh boy, look at that. Oh wow, that's pretty. I would have to apply that with a brush. I'll have to see if it dries down. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's pretty. I have to use this. Uh... Oh, I was going to use tissue. Got it. Got it. <laughs> okay, next we have a lip crayon from the brand Mineral Fusion in mm -hmm. sheer flicker. This still has the. Um, plastic seal on it. Should I take That's it? That's a nice color. You want it? Yeah, I just might. You just might? Yeah. All right. You know, I like my pencils. I Pencils are my favorite too. <laughs> I love that. Let's open it. You could, you could swatch it on your hand and see if you really like okay. it. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Shiny. Do I show it? Yeah, go ahead and show it. Nice nude, a pinky that's nude. That. I feel like this is drying down. Okay, you yeah. like it? Yeah. Okay, nice. All right, next we have an EOS lip balm. Mmm. That smells delightful. I have no idea what uh, scent that is. Oh, I don't know. It smells kind of like cotton candy or something cherry and another one hmm that one smells more like cotton candy yeah that does they both smell kind of like cotton candy wow i've never tried one of these stick eos lip balms have you i have multiple do you <laughs> yes all right i guess i'm keeping these EOS multiple. lip balms. all right here are two eos lip balms they are clearly brand new and they smell like cotton candy i really like that you don't have either of those? I have oh, those. Yes. That smell just like that? I my, I don't know if they smell. I don't know. Here's a Clinique and Jonathan Adler mm, collaboration. That's cute. The packaging is gorgeous. The shade is Plum Pop. Look at that beautiful packaging. I don't feel like any of our gifts with purchase look that cute. I still have the containers. Like, you know, that you would hold the makeup in, like the plastic containers. Oh, and really? They were doing really cool designs on those, so I have some of those. That's a beautiful shade. It's pretty. I just, you know, I just got rid of a whole bunch of lipsticks. But no. I just. You trying to behave? I'm trying to be good. All right. Becca, ultimate coverage, 24 hour foundation in the shade Driftwood. This looks like it might be too dark for you. Yeah. Little sample of Becca foundation. I've never tried this foundation. Oh, another one. Now, you know if they have butterscotch, I'll take it. <laughs> this is Nude Pop. <laughs> butterscotch. <laughs> and what was the other one that Melissa and I would get? I can't remember. But butterscotch was the one. This is That's a Nude one. Pop. Yeah. I like that. It might be a little too nude. I like yeah. my lip. You like brownie uh, yeah. leaning lip colors, and I like pinky leaning lip colors. I like them both. Um, I don't hold off. I think I like the packaging more than I need it. <laughs> mm. 
This is Profusion Cosmetics Matte Lip Liner in the shade Secret. Just looks like a oh yeah, nude matte lip liner. So, quite a bit of product. I like that shade. Are you overwhelmed should, yet? Should we show them the size of the bag that I'm getting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here is a Revlon Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in Smoky Topaz. HD Smoky Topaz. That's beautiful. It's got a little diamond on top. Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful Ready? nude. Mm. I just want to keep it all. <laughs> I'm in trouble. You know, these are my favorite, right? They're here. my favorite, too. Do you want these? I have a pair in my I've shower. Been, um, I have, if you only have one pair, you can have them because I have How some, many seven pairs. You have seven pairs? I do. I probably more. I've How only, many bodies do you have? I, well, I kind of just toss them out into the laundry after. Oh, you wash yours? Yeah. Oh. You throw them away when you're done? Or, no. I, I mean, just wash them. I've been using mine for, like, since Christmas. Oh. Yeah. I'll use it for a couple days and then I'll throw it in dirty laundry and then oh. just grab another pair. Yeah, I kind of feel like washing my body and then rinsing it off. I don't feel like I'm that dirty. Yeah, no, but I just, I don't know. Okay, well, I will keep this done. Because I do use it to wash my face. <laughs> oh, you do? I do. I feel like this I is like too rough. See, I love the rough. I like oh. the, the scrubby feeling. Yeah, that's a little so too So I don't want it to have skin. any buildup. So. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. I just wash my privates with it. No, I'm just kidding. No. Like I do arms. You like it rough. <laughs> my privates like it rough. It's not me. It's my privates. Oh, did it dry? It dried down. There's a little bit wow. of transfer, but... Wow, I did not think that would ever dry down. It was so liquidy, but look at how beautiful that is. I don't like blue eyeshadow, but I like, like that's, aqua. That's pretty. Okay, I have another pair of exfoliating bath gloves. Apparently, you're supposed to have multiple and throw them in the wash every once in a while. <laughs> so maybe I will try that because I've just been using the same pair since Christmas. Or my birthday? I don't know. Oh, it's no, been is... a while. I just rinse them off. Okay, this definitely caught my attention. Not going to lie, I'm a sucker for blush. This is the Ofra Madison Miller Midi Palette Miller Squad. I'm a little bit behind on watching YouTube videos, so I was not aware of this. And uh, I've never heard of that one. No. Okay. You too. No. Do you know you know Ofra? No. You don't know anything about the brand no. Ofra? Okay. They do a lot of collabs. Um, they've done a collab with Kathleen Lights and other people. They do lip, liquid lipsticks, but this yeah. is the Ofra. Oh. This is the blush palette. It's got two highlighters and a blush. Let's see, does it say the shade names? No. The squad is all here. Your cheeks will have a new BFF with this face palette, which includes two glistening highlights that will send you into shook status. I want to be in shook status. And a perfect soft pink blush. Okay. I only use tantalizer on my cheeks. <laughs> And a little bit of tiny stuff that I have. Who are you? I know. What is going on here? I, well, you know my skin is so sensitive, so I have to. I have to stick with skin. What I know. We need to shop. I know. All right. There's some nail polishes. Oh, this looks fun. How come I can't get it open? Oh, there we go. All right. This is a sinful colors. Oh. Does it change color? I don't know. It's I think I can blast. possibly change color. Um, so I donated to the social worker a huge box of my nail polishes. Did she like it? She loves it. So, you know, she has a lot of the older kids. So They paint their nails? Yeah. They At paint what? their nails. At school? They, yeah. And then they, um, she gives it to them if they, you know, work That's hard really nice. for the week. Yeah. So. A good idea. Oh, huh, look at that. That's kind of fun. This is the shade Petal Be the Day. Is that a reference to? So this settled a lot. There's a ton of blue glitter kind of settled over here, but that's it mixed all up. Roll it. Oh, 
That's what they do at the salons. Oh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's been a while for me, too. <laughs> it's been so long that my toes don't even have nail polish on. I anymore. noticed. <laughs> All right, there's more nail polish. All right, this is the shade Pink Forever. Just kind of a classic cool tone pink. That's nice. Okay, this is one of the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Polishes in the shade Frill Seeker. Just a pretty nude. I do like that one. Thank you. You're welcome. I like it. I need to get you eventually. I like it. I like it because you can't see it fall off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the news it's these not days. Like, yeah. All right, here is a Wet n Wild in the shade. Who is ultraviolet? 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 Okay. There you go. A nice violet shade. All right. I think there's a couple more nail polishes stuck in here. Another Wet n Wild, pretty berry shade. This says Great Moon something on it, and I can't see what the rest of the words are. But the first two words are Great Moon, so that's a pretty berry shade. Next, we have some sheet masks. These are the Berry Sorbet Facial Masks, Moisturizing, Berry Extract Milk Essence. Oh, I just dropped one. Brightening, Strawberry Extract Milk Essence. Passion Fruit. Soothing, Passion Fruit Extract Milk Essence. I think I like one or two of those. Okay. I think I'll use them on Kate. Wonderful. I was Thank hoping you. you would say that. <laughs> okay, I have the Pixie Glow Tonic sample. Yeah, I need yeah. it like that. <laughs> I'm like, yay. You've been waiting for me to open that this whole I time. I didn't even you? see it. Oh. I love this. I've been like, well, I haven't bought any more because I haven't bought any in a long time. So I've been waiting to buy this one. It's kind of pricey. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. I do like the pixie though, and my skin tolerates it, so. That's good. All right, we have a couple samples from Soap and Glory, the No Woman, No Dry no Body Butter. No dry. I wish I can sing. Um, no. No, I knew you were going to sing. I'm like, uh -oh. You'll just sit them in the closet it, for the next 10 years. It'll sit in my years. sample box, and then it'll eventually be yours. <laughs> yep. Let's, let's just skip ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next we have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed Bronzer. I think the one that I have is just called Bronzer. Um, I think I have that one. You think you have this one? Mm -hmm. Is this one lighter or darker than the regular one? I don't know. I'm currently this panning. This might be lighter. Than it looks like it might be lighter. I'll have to compare mine, it to mine. Mine looks... Actually, mine might be gold. Now that I think about it. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Like a goldy color. I'll have to compare that to but one I could I have. be wrong. <laughs> I have another Physicians Formula product. This is the Butter Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. I mm. kind of feel like... Maybe that's the one I have. No. That's a highlighter. No. I, Do you have highlighter? You know the difference between a highlighter and a bronzer. I know you do. <laughs> you taught me that. You taught me but, the difference. But it's all the tantalizer that's all I use. Okay. Um, I did save it, though. This um, is a cream to powder. I have it right there. You have this? No, I have mine, whatever it is. Show me. Okay. Oh, it is, what is that? It is a highlighter. It's a butter highlighter. Oh, yeah. Champagne. That's why that one threw me off a little bit, because it's... I think rose gold might be too dark of a shade to use as a highlighter. It might kind of work as like a blush oh, topper, but this might be better for somebody with a deeper skin tone. It kind of reminds me of the tantalizer color, right? It does. I was thinking that, I too. I wonder. But it's very glittery, right? It is. But, it's like, in this light, with the overhead lights, it's mm -hmm. very pretty. It's very I beautiful. I might try that. You I can't stop <laughs> I'm going to try it. it. <laughs> Good. You should. I should try it. Oh, another nail polish. This one's a green. That's a pretty toenail color. I like green on my toes. Oh yeah, like that's an aqua pretty. shade. Mm -hmm. Be more Pacific. <laughs> that's thing. Be more Pacific. Pacific green. Pacific blue. Pacific blue. <laughs> it looks know. green. It does look green. All right, this is an Ultimate Eye five-piece brush collection from Elf. 
comes with an eye contour brush, a small ankle brush, a blending brush, flat eyeliner, eyebrow duo. I have a thing for brushes. Do you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I need a new eyebrow brush thingy. Wonderful. Okay, next we have a Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips for brown eyes. I, I have something like this. I don't know if it's this one or not. No, I know. I am, um, yes. They're good. Okay. Good. We have some eyeshadow quads from Wet n Wild. This is the Petalette, and this is the Sweetest Candy eyeshadow quads in the newer packaging. Nope. You good? My last package that I gave you, I gave you all those colors. <laughs> I love them. They look great, but they don't look great on me. No. What colors look great on you? I don't, I'm leaning these days more towards the browns and the golds. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah. going through a gold thing right now too. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because I'm trying to finish up a gold eyeshadow and I'm making myself like it, but I just really love neutrals. Yeah. All right, we have a Clinique quad. This is called Pink Chocolate. I like that name. Mm -hmm. It's like ice cream. Yeah, maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> I wanna eat some pink chocolate. Here are some cubes from the Body Shop. Have you ever seen these? I remember seeing these on the Ulta website years ago, and I really wanted them back then, but I resisted. It's almost like the bare mineral where it's like a powder. Like it's loose yeah, or is it loose pressed? Powder. That's what I'm wondering too. Stick that right there. Oh, it opened. Oh. It's, they're individual. Look at that. Oh, wow. Pressed. That's Interesting. pretty. It's deep. Yeah. Take a long time. I was to gonna say you were... <laughs> I would have that forever. <laughs> Not me. I'll finish yeah. that off in a week. No, I'm just kidding. I'll have it forever too. That's cute. Speak up. Okay, I'll let you know. All right. Here is a Bare Minerals loose shadow in the shade Mint. I don't know if you could see it right there. That's a pretty shade of green. Oh, it's sealed. All right, it's sealed. I won't swatch it, but it's a pretty seafoam green shade, a mint green. If it'll you go will. with the nail polish. It'll go with in the eyeshadow. Oh yeah. Okay, some more Clinique ones. These are so much prettier than back when we were shopping Clinique and getting free gifts with purchase. That's the same. I don't remember the packaging yeah, being this it's pretty. The same. Well, the free ones, these are the ones you buy. Oh. And the free ones were green. Oh. Um, that that explains it. The whole thing was silver. Okay. If you like this yeah. part. Was okay. Silver. Here. You open that one. All right. You got to go. This is Beach Plum. What, do you, what shade is yours? Yeah, I can't read that. Uh, Starlight, Starlight. Star Bright. This is Beach Plum right here. Oh. It looks yeah. like a creamy, taupey champagne shade and mm -hmm. a plum. And okay. you're falling down in your shot, Joe. Sorry. And Starlight Star Bright is a couple of shimmery browns. I'm <laughs> like, you're nervous. I was like, oh. This is a, there's a. Oh, that's right there. It's good. There's a couple that's of shimmery good. browns right there. That actually goes with your sweater. Yeah. <laughs> Love a good shimmery brown. This is Wet n Wild Mega Slips Lip Mega Slips. <laughs> That's why it fell. <laughs> it's a Mega Slip. That's for sure. All right. What is your name? Bronzeberry. Okay. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks lip gloss in Bronzeberry. Looks kind of metallic-y. Do you want? No. <laughs> Do you want a basket or something to put? No, it's no. okay. We're okay. almost at the bottom. Okay. This is a Wet n Wild. Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Jack O' Lantern's Blood. Oh, that's looks, actually pretty. It is pretty. It looks like that's a like... golden pink. It kind of looks like yeah. Nars Orgasm in a liquid lipstick. Nice. I'll take that one. Yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> this is Wet n Wild's Metallic Lipstick in Satin Sheets. It's a, that's more orangey, I think, or this is more 
Oh, maybe not. They almost look exactly the same. What the heck? Come on, wet and wild. Hmm. All right. Same as the last one. One for you, one for me. <laughs> and this one's more of a bronzy shade, right? Mm -hmm. This is the um, Wet n Wild Cat Suit in Ride on My Copper. <laughs> chopper. Ride on My chopper. chopper. All right, so that's a little bit more bronzy. Okay, then we have a Burt's Bees Lip Balm in Red, Dal Red Dahlia. Red Dahlia. Dahlia. That's, that's a my, pretty shade. my flower. You have a dahlia? That's a dahlia? Dahlia, yeah. Okay. I had some dahlias in my garden last year. Did you? Mm-hmm. That's a pretty shade. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can kind of um, tell which ones are going to... I'm a chapstick. <laughs> All right. And then the last two, there's a story here. These are both um, Wet n' Wild Liquid Cat Suit. These are the Wet n' Wild Cat Suit High Shine Lipsticks. It's basically a lip gloss in the shade Petal Poison. So I bought one of these um, off of Amazon after watching a YouTuber named Kitschnitch recommend this. And she swatched it and I thought it looked so beautiful. But it was a limited edition product that was no longer available in stores. So at least our stores near our house. So I ordered it off of Amazon and I'm currently working on one. And I keep raving about this product. But it's no longer available. It's, it was limited edition from maybe two I years really ago. I really like that color. I thought you might. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous. So yes. she found these and sent them specifically because she knew how much sure, I love them yes, yes. yes. but I'm worried I, as much as I love them I'm worried I'm not going to be able to get through three of these before time runs out I can help you I knew you, <laughs> I, I knew I could count on you I can help you okay and that then it's a great color though I love that isn't it beautiful mm -hmm. it you'll love it so this is the and if you have you ever tried the cat suit high shine lip gloss no. you'll love the formula okay. and you'll love the wand you'll love it awesome this is an LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is a darker shade. Oh, it's a peach corrector. Okay, that's why. This is called peach corrector. Let me try that. I don't know. Should I try I, you? I don't know what a peach corrector is. Um, peach correctors are really good for concealing under eye circles, which I have oh. a lot of. Sometimes with certain brands, I could put this on and use this as my under eye concealer and that's a one that's and done it. thing. Mm -hmm. And other times I put this on first and then put like a typical skin colored or lighter um, concealer okay. on over it to kind of gotcha. conceal and brighten. All right, we have some glitter. Look at that. In the shade Violet. I've never seen anything so beautiful. I know, it's pretty. I'm, I don't. You ever gonna wear glitter? No. No. I gave I away all my glitter. Oh my gosh. This I is gorgeous. I feel like glitter makes my eyes look. I don't feel, I don't know if I feel like glitter makes my eyes look old, but I just feel yeah. overdone for any situation gotcha. I'm walking into these days, which is basically yeah. just work. All I do is go to work. So. Yeah. I'm not going to wear it glitter to work. Much for hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Although a lot of the girls did put um, glitter on their cheeks when they played all the time. One they of the did? teams. Yeah. Look at that cute little ring that's, that's snuck in there. It's like a little bow tie with hearts. You can't get it open? <laughs> I couldn't get it out. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is so pretty. You want I do. Me. Oh, it's a bow. It's a, that's what I said. It's like I, a bow tie. I thought it was it's two like hearts. A, well, it is two hearts that make a bow. <laughs> it, it can't be both. It's one or the other. It is. That is now so I'm cute. like blinded looking at I it. Know. It's so Look at sparkly. It. Mm. It's not working. You gotta no, come it back. It never works. But then you can't see it. It's too far away. No. That's very pretty. It is. Did you know I already got rid of all my jewelry? <gasps> Oh. I posted a whole video on it on wow. my channel. I kept one pair, two pair of earrings, this pair and one back up. That's it? Yep, and my rings. I don't know if I could do that. I got rid of it. Was kind I definitely of have a move. lot to get rid of. I had been thinking um. about it for a while, um, but I wasn't sure how I was going to do it or where I was going to do it. I still had my Tiffany jewelry. Is that got rid of all that too. I, we were having a family party to celebrate some birthdays back in February. And I was like, hey, Jen, Jen was there. And I was like, Jen, I'm thinking about getting rid of some of my jewelry. Do you want to take a look at it and see what you want before I give it, you know, yeah. give it away? And she's like, I'll take all of it. And I was like, all right. 
she walked home she left that day with all of my jewelry and i was like so you just so you know that's really tiffany's jewelry that's, that's really really like don't yeah. just give it away to mm -hmm. anybody like try to get some money for it if you can or right. give it to a really good friend like i'm does giving she, it to you yeah does she sell it is that what she's doing no she, she sends it back to the philippines oh so she's got her sister here so the two of them shop for what they want she's probably got a bunch of friends maybe i can give her something of mine she would love it okay um all right this is from becca this is the skin love glow elixir glow nectar brightening hydra complex is this skincare or is it makeup and then this is the skin becca skin love. love glow shield prime and set mist can i smell it yeah sure now, it's either a primer or mm. it smells like melon. Mm, it smells like uh, Bath and Body Cucumber Works. Melon. <laughs> I'm using that shower gel right now. Are you? I love it. All right. Google it. it. Pull out your phone and tell me what this product is. Okay. Did you know that Becca's going out of business? No, I didn't. They're closing up shop in September. Wow. I don't think I own any of their stuff. You don't own any Becca? Mm -hmm. Well, you won't miss it. A lightweight primer serum infused with Becca's Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complex, a proprietary <laughs> blend of natural ingredients that help brighten, hydrate, and soothe the skin. All right, oh. so it's a primer serum. Okay, that's cool. Nice. And this is the Prime and Set Mist, so like a setting spray. Oh. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. I usually just use rose water. I don't know if that actually sets it, but I feel like it does. <laughs> Another Clinique duo snuck in here. This is the shade Twilight Mauve Brandied Plum. Pretty. All right. I think this is a purse that she got for Hazel. Aw, that's cute. It's super cute. Hazel will love this. <laughs> the Barbie I didn't buy her. <laughs> we have a sample from number seven, the Protect and Perfect All-in-One Foundation. And there are four samples left in here. Warm Beige, Wheat, Deeply Honey, and Chestnut. I know you don't want that. Not even going to ask. <laughs> Cannot be bothered with samples. And then the last two things in the box are arguably the most exciting products that came out of this box. They are two six pan eyeshadow palettes from Juvia's Place. The Sweet Pinks palette and the Violet, the Violets. Are you familiar with yes. Juvia's Place? No. You don't know Ju- No. Sorry. We don't go to Ulta nearly enough. No. Or when we do go, you go this way instead of, anyways. Yeah. Juvia's Place is a pretty popular brand that really took off on thanks to the help of social media. Very affordable eyeshadows that are pretty good quality. Some people say that they're not the best, but a lot of people really like them, but they're affordable. And it's a black owned business. So if you're into that, yeah. that's a good thing. Those are pretty. They are so pretty. <laughs> this is the Those sweet are like, pinks palette. It's like, it's like candy. It does. <laughs> Let's just get a spoon and eat wow. it. Wow. So, given my low buy, this would take, oh my gosh. Wow. 12 points. Oh. It's perfect color for your shirt. I do like pink. Mm -hmm. And then the violets is just as beautiful. I think you can tell I've already opened these. I took a peek. <laughs> I didn't know that these had come out. A little bit behind on watching YouTube videos. And here is the Violets palette. And purple looks amazing on you. I love purple. I was told in like junior high that if you have brown hair and brown eyes, you should wear purple because it's the most flattering color. Yeah. And I just kind of rode that for the last 40 it, years. It works. 30 years. It works. It's so pretty. It is pretty. Would you like either of these palettes? I don't wear either. If you don't wear pink or purple? purple? No. Okay. 
Well, let's see what you did get. Okay, you did all right. You got some good stuff. Okay, so here's all of the stuff that Jamie's gonna be taking with her. Well, I'm gonna be leaving here. <laughs> I'm at your house, aren't I? Yeah. And uh, I'm really glad that you found some stuff in this box that you are going to love and enjoy. At least you think you are. I'm going to for sure. Yeah. Wait, you kept those earrings? Those are the earrings I Yay. kept. <laughs> the ones you bought me. <laughs> They're my favorite earrings. So about two years ago, I started wearing these earrings every day. And I thought, well, let me see how long I can go before I feel like these earrings don't work with my outfit or before I feel like they're not fancy enough or before I get sick of them. And after two years, I thought, what am I doing with all these other earrings? Yeah. And I got rid of all of them. Wow. I kept the ones you gave me. These wow. are my favorite earrings. I love them. And I kept one pair of backups that are just like sil silver little circles, okay. like with little cutouts. And I thought, if something should ever happen to these or I lose one, I'll have a backup pair of earrings. Because I do like to wear earrings every day. I could care yeah. less if I have a necklace. I could care less if I have a bracelet. But I like to have earrings in my ears every day. So I have one pair of backup, and that's it. Nice. Exciting. Super exciting. All right, guys. Do it. <sighs> <laughs> it's so hard get to talk. The, get the bug out of here. <laughs> I'm doing surprisingly well. You should You're see right. me when I'm home alone. I'm like, because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're just having more conversation. Yeah. Then. Yep. No, it's amazing how I can't get two words together. All right, guys. Now you know what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Poor Brad Pitt. Poor Brad Pitt. <laughs> Poor Gwyneth. I know, I know. Who cares about Brad Pitt? Gwyneth. Poor Gwyneth. Oh, All right, gosh. now you know what's in the box. <laughs> Just, I'm going to have to go home and watch that movie all over again. We're talking about the movie Seven, if you don't know. Yeah, it's a great if you movie. haven't watched the movie Seven, you were probably born after in the 1990s or no, late later. 80s. Later than oh. the if you have or haven't watched it. Yeah. If you haven't watched it, you were probably born in the in 90s. Late, late 90s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if you've been born, if you were born before 1990, there's no excuse for you to have not seen that movie. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. And Brad Pitt. And Brad Pitt. An yeah. all-star cast. Such a good movie. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm haunted by that movie still. I haven't seen that movie in like, like 20 years. And I'm just, it's, it haunts me. All right. Let's get it together. All right, guys. That is it for this unboxing of all the products that I received from my lovely subscriber. Again, thank you for sending me these products. We've had so much fun today going through the box and shopping. And as you can tell, Jamie has picked out quite a few products to keep and use for herself, which makes me really happy because like I've said before, she gives me so many products all the time and um, I never return the favor in any way. So yes, you do. <laughs> I don't think I do. I don't think I've ever given you anything. You just always, I'm just the receiver. You give great birthday presents. <laughs> I, I try to make it up with a birthday present, but um, mm -hmm. yes, you give pretty good birthday and Christmas presents too. We give each no, other makeup. You. Yeah. <laughs> if you're wondering, it's all makeup. We just it's give each other makeup. makeup. So that is it for this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it works. Does it? Why does okay. it feel like I'm taller and bigger? Because I think closer? you're closer. Oh, okay. Scoot on up. That feels weird. What feels weird? Scooting. Uh, need a knee. Need a knee. No, that feels. Good. Intimacy after COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been touched in so long. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> needed me. Oh. It's comforting. <laughs> I might start sweating though. <laughs> I'm already sweating. I wish I wouldn't have worn a tank top. My bad arms. God. Oh God. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sit here and smile. Just gonna sit here and smile. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> the other thing. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure you can make that face. <laughs> the other thing is that um, I probably won't get this video up for like another week. I have like a million other videos I have to do first, okay. but um, I'll let you know. So you could. So now I so you follow you. Me. Jake showed me how to do that, but I've never you watched that video. You were following me this whole time. Some friggin' friend you are. What the hell? I know. I didn't know how to do it. You I didn't, didn't have a. I didn't have a YouTube. You, ha you didn't have a YouTube? I'm, 
And so you had to sign up to YouTube, yep. and now you're following. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I never had. But you haven't watched any of my videos yet. Oh. <laughs> I watched one. I watched part of one at school, but the volume was off, and I just watched Hazel run around behind you. <laughs> she does a lot of that. <laughs> okay. I feel like Can I look at you? It's easier that way. <laughs> it's fine. Do whatever feels right. Mm. Okay. Okay. Don't don't look at me while I'm starting. Okay. Look, avert your eyes. Okay, avert which way, your eyes. Where should I look over here? No. Should I walk in and sit down? Would that be better? Like we just met here <laughs> in your bedroom. Hey, Paula. I'll flush the toilet and what then come. <laughs> no. No. That's okay. really not the vibe. Of I know you haven't watched any of my videos yet, but that's not really the vibe Sorry. I'm going for Sorry. on my channel. <laughs> Got a blot. Hey, all of a sudden I don't feel this anymore. Okay, just I won't look at you. Don't look at me. I'm gonna look at the triangle. Just smile. I feel like a little kid with big boobs. You are a little kid with big boobs. <laughs> That's exactly what you are. Yeah, yeah.